Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to add a new portfolio item for something that you've already listed in your Etsy shop. So assume that you have already listed this item in your Etsy shop and now you want to create a item on your website that has the for sale on Etsy button and can either be shown on your front page in your portfolio or on the for sale page, which I'll show you in a minute, um, or both. In this case, we'll show them on both or we'll, we'll also take, <clears throat> take them off the front page. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is click Add New in Portfolio here. You can also click here. Uh, if I click that drop down, there'll be a um, Portfolio button. And in this case, we're going to do your uh, Three Leaves piece. Three leaves, that's that telemedera fusion piece you have in uh, your Etsy shop. And I'm going to click the on sale on Etsy category here, telemedera fusion, and 2016. Now 2016 will put it on your front page right now. And we're going to make the on sale on Etsy the primary. So you'd click here if you wanted to make this primary, but in this case it's already selected. Okay. So then we're going to scroll down a little bit without putting anything in here. And we're going to enable Visual Composer, enable Visual Composer for custom layout here on. And we're going to ignore all these. We had used those before, but in this case, because I created a custom template, we're going to use a custom template. So after you've done that, we're going to click back end editor here. And this is going to put you in what's called the visual composer, which is a layout tool that I used for um, creating custom templates. And down here you have the visual composer. Um, this item here is where your templates are. And I'm going to click there and click new portfolio page redesign June once. Sometimes if you click it twice, it'll, it'll add the template twice, which you don't want to do. Um, if you, if you see this element here and this one doubled, you're just going to delete the rows, but we didn't click it twice. So it looks okay to me. All right. So this template is a page created from one of your mono prints. So, You'll see there's a monoprint here and the image gallery has the monoprints. Well, we're going to change those in a minute. Um, right now, I'm going to edit the text block next to it, which is the template was made from your silver brown ladies image, but we're going to just use this as a template and change this information here just by selecting and typing three leaves. And because we have three leaves on Etsy already, I'm going to just come in here and grab your description. Just going to copy it. Control C and go back to the portfolio piece and I'm going to paste it on this. I went back to this tab in your site. I'm going to paste it right here. Okay, so this template has a few things already set up. So medium dimensions, price, and in this case, we're going to change this to Tele, Tele, Medera, Medera, <laughs> Fusion, and the dimensions are here, because you had already put them on your Etsy shop, so I'm going to copy this here, just going to select and copy. You would normally just write this yourself, but because I have this information from your Etsy shop, I'm just cutting and pasting. And let's see, we'll keep most of the description. I'm going to eliminate. We're moving down there. And you can come back in and edit this if you'd like. Um, it's just the content that I have from your Etsy shop. So I can't quite see this whole page. I'm 
to take out the date here. And because uh, we've already got a page with what is Telemadera Fusion, I'm just going to link to that page here. So I'm going to select Telemadera Fusion in the medium part and click the link here, insert edit link, and type Tele. See if I start typing it, I get your links that are already on your blog. So I'm going to, I just type that and this came up. And I'm going to hit apply. So now that's a live link to your what is Telemadera Fusion page. And got the dimensions got, let's see, how much are you selling this for? It is 65 bucks. I'll change this here. And I'm going to leave this availability just like it is and hit save changes. Okay, so now you have the side panel. Um, you can come back and change this if you'd like. Um, and then there's this button down here, the Buy on Etsy button. So we need to get the link to the page for the item, which is here. And you don't need anything after the question mark. Just grab from the question mark over to the left and hit Copy. And that's Command-C on your side. And make sure we're on the right page. Hit the little edit mark here and see this is the old link. We're going to put the new link here. We want that to open in a new window. No icon, all of that. Just keep all of that the same so it's consistent across your site. And then in this case, we're going to change the large image and then the image galleries, the smaller image gallery images. So for the large image, we're going to click this edit button. I'm going to swap this out with the one that you have in your library. And it looks like you already uploaded a few of these. And the size looks OK. We might want to reduce sizes. Um, your titles are shouldn't be the file that you the file name. You want to make this three leaves by Ivy Reading. And then I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put this in alt text. And you might want to come back in and add some descriptions. Remember, these are for screen readers so that if a person is um, having trouble using vision, they need the text description here. OK, so we'll set that as the primary image. And you want to check the image size here should be full. Um, you could do large, but in this case, we just want full. And then the image gallery, we're going to add those nice side images that you added. Don't change any of these things. I'm going to delete these with a the little red X there. And then add in your uh, side shots here. There's one. You can hit c Control or uh, Shift and it allows you to um, select more than one. So one, two, three. If I hit Control, then I don't, I, it's not a, if I hit Shift, I would hit collect all those. And I don't want this middle one. So I use. In my, my Windows keyboard, I use Control. Uh, and then we'll change these to three leaves. I'm not going to change all three of them, but Ivy Reading. And then hit Add Images. We can come back for those alt tags later. OK, so you see they're listed below. Thumbnail for these smaller ones. And then you want to make sure this says Open pretty photo. And then save changes. And leave these space tool. This is just a bit of white space at the bottom. These are also spaces here. You want to keep those the same. And we're done. I think. So you hit publish, and you're good. That's it. Okay.